Okay. Uh, welcome everyone. Just gonna make sure that this uh, stream's actually live. But uh, assuming it is, we're here for a pretty weird little episode of the N64 quest here because we're gonna be doing two games today, and we're not really gonna be doing a whole lot because I don't know how much. I, I feel like I think I've heard that these games each are like 45 minutes, and I used to think about them and be like, yeah, I would just do one stream and just play the full like full game all, all in one stream and take like an hour and a half like an hour and a half of streaming the two sesame street games just does not sound appealing to me at all so realistically we're just gonna we're just gonna bang this out uh and do uh, a little bit of each game here we're gonna start with elmo's letter adventure uh which uh, i have its companion right here i'm literally gonna get up in the middle of the stream walk over and put this put this one in and continue uh, and not, like, leave Daddy. off or break the stream or anything. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Lower the volume. Medium. Uh, just Medium. for the sake of it, Daddy. like, Medium. feel like it'd be really sad if I did anything less than hard. But I've also been, like, secretly terrified so that, like, I'm gonna you pull, like, full Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader bullshit Let's on this and just, like, completely money. brain fart. Oh my god, <laughs> he walks around. Oh, that walk cycle. Oh my god. Um, Howdy. Would you like to go to the alphabet farm? At least it's got voice acting. I, would, I mean, I would hope it's got voice acting because you're here. Your if you're trying to teach the kids to read, you would kind of have to have like the to voice acting in the, the farm, game first. Press one of the flashing buttons. Yay! I press A. Welcome to the alphabet farm. Uh -huh. I'm making alphabet soup, Good. and I'm missing a very important ingredient. Uh -huh. The letter B. God damn. Will you help me find it? Come on, Big Bird. It's it's the most important ones. Okay. It's right right there, damn it. B. We found I have to pick it up. Oh, do I have to go get a bunch of them? Is that the idea? This this is the B. most wild like rock cycle. It's so fast. He <laughs> goes so fast. It's like R2D2. Oh my god, we're gonna get some fun out of this for sure. That is a scarecrow. Okay. Um <laughs> we just get a bunch of, bunch of bees. I feel bad for the kids, they're showing lowercase bees and the all the all the ones at the bottom of the screen are uppercase. Come on, camera, catch up. You can do this. I need for Firefox to open on my laptop and it's just yep, not responding. Cool. I'm gonna pop my phone open for a second. See if we're actually streaming anything here. Oh, you're done. B. Oh, I can be so far away from it. Its hitbox is like really big. That's good, I guess. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. All right. Good. 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 All right. Let's keep going. Is this why it's hard mode? Is because they're gonna trick you? Hello, chicken. No, I can't pick up the chicken. All right. Oh, look at these textures. <laughs> it's just a big hallway. B. Oh, it's so sad. This is what passes for edutainment kids game. B. Like, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to dunk on it at all. It's just that like, it's one of those things you want to get like a. You want to see a higher standard for, for children's. Uh, video. I mean, Sesame Street B. is the high standard for children's television. So you would like the games to match that. And unfortunately, I just. It's not gonna go this way. It's literally a big hallway. I feel so bad. Oh, there's no exploration or anything. You could go all over the place if you wanted to. But no, we're just gonna put you in a hallway. B! B! He's just on ice skates! Oh, and his expression never changed. Oh, no, it does. He has a little bit. His mouth opens a little bit when he walks, and then it closes a little bit again, but it never fully closes. B! Oh, we're done? If you want to keep playing, press one of the flashing buttons. What if I don't? What if I don't? If you want to go back to Sesame okay. Street, Start. press the flashing button. I don't want to be in this hallway anymore. Thank you. We're back on Sesame Street. Ooh, Amma wonders what there is to see. Yeah, let's check it out. This is where I want. 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 So as soon as you stop having issues with the audio, 
you stop paying attention and then that's hey Grover Grover's here hello there and welcome to my outer space exhibit Ooh, would outer you space? like to travel with me and explore you know the alphabet in a whole new, new galaxy the alphabet in outer space wow changing it on the fly of a better if name you want to come with me to outer space press one of these buttons see the ones that are flashing Alright, yeah, let's go to space. I mean, I really, more than anything, I wanted to explore Alphabet Sesame Street. Planet. That was what I was Your looking for. Your mission is to find all the letters. Sad. I, Grover, know you can do it. Alright, so yeah, so it's not like accelerate. You just, you just push the control stick. Admittedly, I am grateful for the way that this is, the way that this controls, because it is done correctly where it is simplified down to the most the most base way you know because i would like to i'd like to you know imagine um considering this is this is for ec this is an ec rated game it's probably the only ec rated or the only two ec rated games that i own are this uh these two um no you know what there's a there's a tigger game that we're gonna play too um tigger's hunting hunt so that i don't know if that's ec but the only T the only EC rated games, early childhood games I have in my collection are these three N64 games, two or three N64 games. And so, if you consider that age rating as indicative of like how the game is supposed to play, as opposed to oh, I pressed one of the buttons. I'm like I'm out here looking for camera controls, literally as I'm talking about how there's no control other than moving around and around and uh, thing. Um, so you have to imagine, like, yes, they are supposed to have the most, like, slimmed down. You can't see it, uh, on the screen because my camera box is in the way. Let me, let me move it. Uh, but yeah, that's, the, the green dots is how many mistakes you're allowed to make. So that's, that's what the story with that was. Where it's supposed to be uh anyway yeah so we're gonna I'm literally just one handing this the whole time because you just have to have the control stick. Yeah, you. i don't remember too because i've been uh checking back on my my volume levels and you know the volume level that i'm back here and when i'm leaning into the microphone is is very different and i i'm trying to keep in mind like because i don't want my voice to be like blasting because it's my my voice and i hate it so um but this is also like so 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 you know what considering that i think i should do it right now because i think that when i when i start to clip out the microphone i think that's also what makes it glitch so it's just it is still part to, partly to do with elgato and with my computer but like, that's something that you have to keep in mind, is just the audio input in general, like... I know for sure that it, that it clips out when there's a lot of, sort of, like, noise going into it at once, and I know that that's why it does it. So, that is sort of, like, why I, I really try to keep my volume level, like, my input volume level down. Oh, I can't go in between it. Oh, it's very stingy about that. So yeah, it's it's really it's a constant it's a constant like battle between um just like the setup in general that that contributes to stream quality and volume level and everything like that and also just like I was just paying attention to not the game and just how the day is gonna go and just the way that I act on a stream and if I start to be constantly at a high volume level what happened 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 What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? Because sometimes you feel like the snowball makes everything okay, 
and it's a better it's just better in general and then you I stop using the snowball because it starts giving me yeah. problems Searching and then my computer the mic does it yeah. and, I don't know I don't know did I run out of time if you want was there playing, press one oh okay buttons. no I, right. I don't do I don't want to flashing. I just want to see the levels in here basically I'm gonna do like one more level and then we'll pop in uh, number journey Street, press this um, button. yes, yes let's, let's go back I'm really I'm so much more interested in seeing the way that they that the way that they represent Sesame Street. Yeah, there's all kinds of shit. Oh, I can't go down the sidewalk. Hey, guess what? There's Ernie. I know an hey. underwater world filled with letters. Would you like to go there with me? An underwater adventure? Oh, a little wow. bit. If you'd like to come with me on an underwater adventure, press one of these buttons. I, the most interesting thing to me right now is I really just want to go around. I want to see everybody and see what level they offer me. And then I want to do one more level um, that seems the most appealing based on both the character and... Unless... Are they not going to let me? Oh, okay. I can just walk away. Levels. Yay. Oh. Oh, these are the only options. Aw. I thought there was going to be a bunch of people. Of course, you don't want to walk into the street. That's a good thing to have. Good thing to have in the kids' game. Uh, all right, yeah. Let's let's hey, let's just go what? with Ernie then. I know an underwater world. Yeah, let's let's go. Oh, hi there. Oh, we're swimming now. <laughs> oh, I thought we were gonna be in a boat or a submarine for some. Seat. Ernie has a submarine. What the hell, Ernie? <laughs> Those little mouthpiece. That's actually adorable. <laughs> This is so funny. I love this. Uh, it's it's so sad because I like I love the Muppets in general. Um, I love the actual like Muppet Show and everything and all the like. Oh man, uh, Muppets Haunted Mansion was great. If y'all watched this this past uh, October, uh, stuff's awesome. Um, but like that doesn't mean I'm like super super into Sesame Street. Like as a content like. Obviously, we all watched Sesame Street when we were kids, uh, and we know everybody. But like. And there's, there's meta jokes in there and stuff. There's every once in a while you see a clip on, like, Twitter or Reddit or something like that. Like, hey, catch this on Sesame Street. Like, nice little, uh, you know, over the heads of the kids joke that's not, like, gross or anything. It's just, it's just what it is. Uh, or, like, fucking, uh, like, Ian McKellen or somebody will show up there. It'll be fun, but you don't, like, sit down and watch it. But I do watch, like, Muppets programming because I love the Muppets and... I wish that there were more, like, real Muppets games. I have almost all of the Muppets games. I have I have a good amount of the Muppets games that do exist. Um, I need the NES one, and I think I need the pinball one. There's a pinball one for the... They're mostly, actually, now that I think about it, they're mostly portable ones. And so, like, I think I have, like, I have the um, console games. But I don't have quite all of the all of the portable games, and that's what it holds me up. Like the only console game I know for sure I don't have is is the Carnival one for the NES, which is not good. But like at this point, it hasn't like gone up in value or anything like that. So I uh, so I still want it. Uh, I still want to grab it for for NES because I have. I mean, I haven't bought an NES game in months because I just playing, don't play press them. One but of these buttons. It's definitely like a NES now. is something I buy for the collection because there are unique games or games that are specifically about things that I Sesame like. Street, and the Muppets is, that's absolutely what that is. It's flashing now. Uh, so yeah, I do, I do still want that game. Um, but but yeah, like Sesame, Sesame Street, Street, not quite the same oh. thing. Although, I'm gonna continue to this. Uh, I'm gonna go pop in Number Journey. We'll, we'll do a little bit of the same thing for Number Journey. This is literally gonna be a half hour stream at most. Uh, but uh, we'll talk about Muppets games, and we'll talk about uh, what else I'm going to do today because this is the stream that I chose to do. So I'll be right back. Okay, everyone catch the little smoothing when I hit the button on the Eon. It's always very satisfying, and it's especially noticeable when you uh, 
when you're on the developer splash screens because they're all 2D. Alright. Alright, so it's number time. And yeah, it's the cow! Yay! Oh my god, my eye is something in my eye. Oh, I'm so happy that it's different people on the street today. Cookie Monster's here! Oh, this is so... This is automatically... I'm... I'm Automatically, I prefer this one. Okay, Ernie's still over here chilling. Who else is here? Who's this? There's a basket over here. I was thinking the balloons would have been to signify people. All right, let's start over here with Cookie Monster. I really, I really want to get down with Cookie Monster today. Hi, hi, Cookie Monster. You smell like the best cookies ever. <laughs> He's so cool. <laughs> He's just going you around smelling save people. One for Elmo? No, we can go to Cookie World to get. His animation is fantastic. This is good stuff. Immediately, immediately, I choose Number Journey over Letter Adventure right now. Uh, anyway, that is uh, something I was planning on talking about. That this is sort of a, uh, a sort of dry run for. Oh my God, we're in the Chocolate River. You go down that. Oh my God, yeah, Number Journey, Number Journey all the way here. Or find one candies. All right, cool. Ones. I think he said something else too, and now I feel kind of weird. I if I miss something that he said to do. Woo! We went off a ramp. Of course, this one's better. One. Yeah. One. Uh, so to keep one. you know content coming out for N64 stuff. Uh, once, you know, five years from now, I finish, you know, doing my thing that I do now where I play all the N64 games. We've got, we've got like, another year and a half of, of releases to get to. And I've done stuff like, um, I've, I've done stuff like the mods. I've done Japanese stuff. There, there's stuff to do. But one thing that I do intend on doing, because it's a lot easier to, uh, pass a proper judgment on games once we do that, one. is to do, like, on the same day, I'm gonna play uh, two different games that are similar, that are, you know, to be compared, right? Now, you ski down sugar. Oh, now we're snowboarding? Oh my god. The number ones. Or this is, the team one that did this one is just like, it's put so much more effort into it, one. this is crazy. We got it. One. It's not like I got I got to immediately do fun more fun stuff because there was a save on my uh, on my controller pack or something like that. One. Like this is just all the way that the way that it goes. Um. So. So yeah. So the sort of like head to head thing is I anticipate. For example, to to do an example that's not like a sports game, which is something I totally will do because I'm interested in that and I want to see it. One. But like. I would play like GoldenEye and Perfect Dark, uh, and do like a mission. Oh, okay, so this is a thing that, that it was, it's five of those. I was definitely wondering about that. Um, GoldenEye and Perfect Dark on the same day, or, um, Turok 2 and Turok Rage Wars, uh, on the same day, and, and sort of get a more firm, like, comparison between the two of them, right? One. Sweet. Um, so stuff like that, or, you know, if we're going to sports game territory, just for the sake of being somewhat interesting, um, lending some interest to these games, Breakaway 98 versus 99, and then we could also do, on the same day, we could do Breakaway 99 versus NHL 99, and NHL 99 will win, and that'll be great. Uh, so stuff like that, uh, is, is my intent, because that's stuff that I already think, I already think about that all the time when I play these. But then what happens is, I don't have the, the best, like, recollection of stuff, so it's something that I would need to have. Okay, I one just played this, and now I'm going to directly compare it to stuff one of the way that it happens in there. So that's a that's a big plan that I have for way down the line. When there are no more uh, N64 games to play, or uh, original games. Um, I was talking about uh, Muppets. I was talking about the Muppets, right? So we should talk about those two. Um, Muppet, uh, the PS1 has two great Muppet games. Uh, Muppet Race Mania, which is a kart racing game, does a, does a couple cool things like uh, reverse tracks and like 
There's a couple, like, point systems and stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, a Muppet Monster Adventure, which is like a 3D platformer with a, like, a, a monster movie theme. Both of those games are fucking awesome. I, I totally recommend them. I love them. To get a ball, go to the bucket and press one of the option buttons. Okay. Ring the bell when you have the right number. If you want to take back a ball, honk the horn. Nine minus two. Elmo needs how many balls? Okay. Oh, what do we... Oh, we're throw. Okay, we're throwing them in there. Okay, I thought we were putting in them, like walking around and grabbing them, and we we're gonna put them in the bucket. Switch. Switch. Almost bought. Uh, oh my god. Uh, there's also um, Muppet Party Cruise, which I have for GameCube. It is a Mario Party ripoff. It is not as good. Uh, it is. It is nowhere near as good as a. Uh, an actual Mario Party game, for sure, but it's a it's a fun little game to play. I've, I've played a couple rounds of it. I like it. Oh, are we gonna keep doing this? <laughs> I don't really... I don't want to do much more of this. I want to go see what the count was up to. What was up with that? I love the count. Oh, that being said, that was another thing that I that I was gonna say, is, um... The, uh... The NES games, like I said, I, I want to get the, the actual Muppets NES game, but the NES games for uh, Sesame Street... In particular, uh, the Count game, the, the Count, I think it's called Counting Carnival. Um, I talked about the, uh, the voice, the voice clips, the actual, like, uh, voice files that are on this, which is understandably needed, because you can't have kids reading the whole time when they can't read, and you're trying to teach them to read. Um, so, like, the Muppets, uh, Counting Carnival game especially has, like, this really, really good ahead-of-its-time voice synthesis for the NES. Uh, it's just, if you just, like, look it up on YouTube, it's really, really impressive, uh, what they were able to do on the NES, uh, with a, with a kids game that probably had, no, like, no budget for or anything like that, so. So that's some cool stuff. Uh, speaking of, I was talking about Mario Party with Muppet, uh, Party Crews earlier. That was the other thing that I intended to do today, because, like I said, uh, there's not much going on here. Uh, we're just here to check out, sort of, like the layout of the game and what they want you to do in these Elmo games here. Well, I, uh, just got, it came out last week, I just got it on Wednesday, I got Mario Party Superstars for the Switch. So that's, uh, I've played a couple games of it already, it's great, it's, it's awesome, and I figured it's sort of a, uh, uh, N64, I forget what I called it, like, uh, bonus episode or bonus N64 quest something, whatever the hell it was. Um... I would do another stream uh, today that would be a game of that because uh, the boards in it there's only five boards god damn it but the boards are from uh, all the N64 games there's a lot of mini games that are from the N64 games so I would like to uh, have that in the pocket as a sort of addendum to the uh, the N64 quest I gotta check on YouTube and see what I call it I haven't done it I haven't done it in a while I'm trying to remember what, what game it was that I did these buttons this is my glorious garden maze. There's quite Pokemon Snap. That was what it was. I did Pokemon Snap because it was amazing. Uh, uh, oh, okay. that is my favorite Switch game now, by the way. New Pokemon Snap. It was in the running when it came out, and I played the, the like, base game. And then they did a free update, and I played the levels in that free update. And I said, this is my favorite game. This is my favorite game on the Switch now. It's not a contest anymore. Like... I li like, personally, I like New Pokemon Snap better than Breath of the Wild, better than Mario Odyssey, better than Metro Dread, which I just played and is amazing, um, better than Smash, like, I will take New Pokemon Snap over all those games, so, games, so, uh, but yeah, uh, Mario Party Superstars just came out, it's cool, and we'll, uh, we'll check it out a little bit later, uh, oh, I thought we were gonna go to, like, the castle or something, I'm a little bummed out, but there's a nice... Is the hedge maze in the castle? This is the is this the hedge maze from Castlevania 64? Uh, it's so sad that these are just like corridors though. Like this is actually I think the snowboard level probably no it didn't it it started out looking like that but then it wasn't. Uh, I wish that they were had like even if you just put it in like a big square open field I feel like doing it that way would be better. Uh, instead you're just like you're just basically like pressing a button if. If it's a yes or a no, 
This is a little lame. I'm a little bummed out by that. But hey, that Cookie Monster level was so wild, so wildly different from the from the other levels that I've done here. So, so what have we got for levels? Level layups that we've done. We got the uh, Grover on the moon. We had Big Bird on the farm. We had Ernie underwater. Uh, we had Cookie Monster with a twofer. Where we got, uh, actually, technically a three for, but I think that's because you, you, I think that's what you get when you finish a level. Press one of the uh, buttons just that, like, the that problem throwing the ball into the now. mouth thing. Big Bertha from, uh, from Tricky Cheese for people who know that game. Um, so yeah, that was what? The Chocolate River, the, uh, Mountain. Say, have you been and then the carnival, carnival thing at the end, and then we just got like carnival. like hedge maze sort of thing. Well, come with me. All right, so there. we'll we'll hang out with Ernie the for a little bit. In the park with me. Press one of the action buttons. Yes, I do. Listen, I'm not going down. back underwater though. I think he said something different, but take a chance. Pick a number. What? But not just any number. Find the number four. Or did you just take me back to the park? Balls. Oh, okay. So it's a slightly different than yeah it's a little bit different from where the count just had me but four. hey we got four oh, oh this is just four this is just the one that the count took me to but with a little extra stuff in it four. Oh, that's not as fun ernie you're supposed to be the fun one you're supposed to take me somewhere new and exciting four. and crazy I'm very disappointed in him. Four. This is something Bert would do. Bert would just be like, well, Four. yeah, uh, let's go back to the park. Ernie? Four. You got it done. I still love this walk cycle though. It's so it's so crazy. Four. He's so fast, the camera can never keep up with Four. him. Yay, we did it. Okay. If you want to keep playing, press one of these buttons. The ones okay, that are so based now. solely on the the levels that were presented to me, I have to say, without a doubt, Number Journey, Street, the better of the two Elmo games, button. because they did that it's crazy Cookie Monster now. level, and I was like, whoa, what's up with this? This is so different than the other levels. Uh, I don't know if there's anything like that in the other game, but like, uh, yeah, that's that's what this game is. Um, hey, I bet you're in the mood. Hey, cool, we're going. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Look around. Oh, I guess that's what it is. It's like if you, if you, number four, if you say that you want to keep going, that that's what you get. Four, you get us. You get a different one, not just the more of the same level. Four. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> we're in bumper cars now. Okay. Still just a car though. All right, if you fun. want to keep playing. Fun stuff. Uh, I mean, what am I gonna say? It's a, it's an educational game. It's, it's made appropriately. It's just, you know, there's not, there's not a lot that you can get out of this that you wouldn't get in another form of like Sesame Street media. Excuse me. In another form of Sesame Street media, like not just the show, but a book. Or uh, like a web page that would have been around in '99 that was interactive as well. Playing, I don't think you have to spend money on this. Buttons. Is or I don't think you have now. to spend as much money that as you know what this would have cost uh, to get to the value, the Sesame educational Street, and entertainment value this that button. this it's game is supposed to get. Now. So like, I would give this like a weighted rating because it's not meant for me of like a six. Uh, just because, you know, it does its job, but you don't, it, it doesn't have to exist. Um, if you want to keep playing, press one of these buttons. And the ones that are I would also now. say that, you know, as a game, this is like a two. If you want uh, to it's honestly, to it's Sesame right Street, with Chef's Love Shack. Because it's I guess it functions, now. but there's really nothing interesting about it. So, uh, so that's what it is. Uh, we've got... Uh, I didn't get to talk about what's next on the N64 quest, I just talked about the other stuff I was going to do today, but, uh, we've got Mario Party we're going to do uh, as soon as I, uh, stop this, I'm going to be right back and do Mario Party Superstars, uh, on the Switch, 
And then the next game for the N64 Quest, it's a big one. It's Donkey Kong 64. And I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to play it and play it and, you know, beat it. At least in the sense that I'm going to roll credits on it. But I do intend on playing a lot of that and taking up, you know, a couple weeks at least with it. So I think that right, to, right now today is November 5th, 2021. I foresee that taking me the whole rest of 2021 to play Donkey Kong 64. And it's a good end point to have where I can say like, okay, start fresh on the new year with a new game for the N64 quest and you've taken down a big, big one that is going to eat up a big chunk of your time. So that's probably what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, Mario Party today. And then next time you see me here on the N64 quest, it's going to be Donkey Kong 64 for the foreseeable future. I appreciate you being here with me. If you watch this, uh, cool stuff. Listen to me talk about the Muppets and shit. Um, I'll see you shortly. I'll be back with Mario Party. Peace out.